So I'm working on power consumption on my watch project. Um, I'm trying to save power. Um, but one thing I realized is that this LED ring uses power even when the brightness is all the way off. Um, so normally you would have the VCC connected directly up to the ring. Um, which means that this ring would be getting power 100% of the time. Because positive and negative is always connected to it. But this is an issue if you're trying to save power. Um, if you're trying to save power, you don't want power always running to the LED ring if you're trying to, for example, make a power saving mode. And in my project, I need a power saving mode to where when the LED um, goes all the way dim, it's in a, some sort of power saving mode. Um, but like I said, this is a problem because it's still consuming energy. Um, so you can see here that it's using 0 0.010 amps using the standard method connecting directly up to VCC. But when I'm using a different method with a transistor and I put it to the transistor uh, method, here you can see it's only using 0 0.001 amps, which is very insignificant. Now, you can see whenever um, I turn on the project, the light is on and then it's off. So this is the actual power to the LED ring. You can see that it is off right now. When normally it would be on 100% of the time. And by the way, this LED takes hardly any energy. So this isn't consuming any, any energy right here. But it's the ring that's consuming the energy. And so what I'm doing for now is using a transistor and then I'm telling it to turn on or off. Whenever the brightness is above zero, then the transistor is on. But when it is at zero, then the transistor is off. And this is controlled by a data pin on the ATtiny167. Um, so the data pin, I'm, I'm just saying di uh, digital right, uh, the pin number, and then high or low to the transistor. So normal, normally a transistor would have a, a, the base in the center. It just happens that my transistor is a bit different. Uh, my transistor has the base on the end, the collector in the center, and uh, the emitter at the top. Um, so what I'm doing is the data pin, data pin, it's either high or low. This is using digital right and then the pin number and high or low for example H I G H and then obviously this is the Arduino code so if it's high like this now this digital pin is connected up to the base and then the collector connected up to VCC and then the emitter finally is connected up to the LED ring on the VCC pin and then obviously there's the um, ground and the data in which I'm not showing in this picture in this um, but basically you can see that whenever I'm using digital pin when I put it to high then it's going to be on when I put it to low then it's going to be off now I have tried connecting the digital pin directly up 
to VCC on the NeoPixel ring. Um, but unfortunately, that's not enough power to run the ring, and it has color issues. And even with using the transistor method, it is putting a significantly higher amount of um, energy to the ring, but it's still not quite enough. It's not maximum strength, um, and so it causes slight, very slight issues. And so what I'm actually going to have to end up doing is getting a MOSFET, um, an N-type um, logic level uh, MOSFET. And, and that is going to be able to act more like a switch um, than just a normal transistor um, because the base requires little... Uh, low amount of voltage to turn it on. Um, so hopefully that will work when I get those. But for now this will work great for multiple applications. Um, if you're using a device such as the NeoPixel Ring, um, like I said it still can have a bit of issues just because it's not all the way bright. Um, but it still works very well and can work with multiple different applications. So hopefully that can help anyone who's um, interested in some sort of power saving mode or switching type ability on the Arduino. Well, thank you for watching.